The first part of the tutorial explains the construction of the cranial base segmentation on ITK SNAP. The construction of cranial base segmentation is a pre-step for applying a voxel base registration in the cases where the cranial base will be used as reference. First, load the scan, CT, CBCT, or micro-CT scan, into ITK SNAP. It can easily be done by dragging and dropping the scan into ITK SNAP's windows. In the toolbar on the left, there is a Segmentation Options section. The two drop-down menus here are for the Active Drawing label, which is the color that your segmentation will be, and the other drop-down menu is called Draw Over, which is where your segmentation will be created. Active Drawing label can be any color. Green is the most commonly used for cranial base and for Draw Over, select Clear Label. To start the registration step, click on the snake icon, which is in the main toolbox on the left. Red lines will appear in your window. Move the lines to the region of interest in all the views, coronal, sagittal, and axial. Here, our region of interest is the cranial base. Make sure to scroll through all the slices to ensure your region of interest is always contained. When finished, click Segment 3D which is on the left under the Tool Options. Next step is to choose either Intensity Regions to start the segmentation from zero, or Image Edges to make retouches when the segmentation is already done. Click Pre-Process Image. Then, in the window that pops up, adjust the lower and upper threshold, and then the smoothness, to make the bone visibly white. Try to minimize noise. You can check the Combined Display option if you wish. When finished, click OK in the window, then Next in the toolbar on the left. You can take this moment to drag the bars in your window to obtain the different views and slices. The next step is to add bubbles to the scan. Click the Add Bubble icon on the left. Try to add bubbles at the bone which is the white in the window. There's no problem with putting a bubble in the blue or black because it will fall into the white bone in the next step. Hold your cursor over your selection. Press and hold the left mouse button and click the plus sign on the keyboard. A bubble will appear by your cursor. Keep doing this through all the slices. Click Next when you've completed the bubbles. The next step is bubble shaping. 
First click Set Parameters. In the window that pops up, modify the red lines in order to keep them inside the white. Click Accept in the window, and then the Play button in the left toolbar. You can stop it at any time to see how the segmentation is doing by clicking the Update Mesh icon in the bottom of the ITK Snap window. When the segmentation is completed, click Finish. Click Update Mesh to see the final segmentation. It might have some deformations, but you can erase them with the Paintbrush tool. First, under 3D Toolbox, click the cursor and the axis icon, which is in the middle. Then. Click the specific area in the 3D model with the deformation. Under the main toolbox on the left, select the paintbrush icon. You can set the size and shape. You can also set it as a 2D brush or a 3D brush. The 2D works just on the current slice, and the 3D works on multiple slices near the current slice, depending on the size of the brush. When the brush is selected, under Segmentation Options, for Active Drawing Label, select Clear Label, and for Draw Over, select Label 2, or whichever label you selected in the beginning. Draw over the spots you wish to remove. When finished, click Update Mesh to view your changes. The deformation noise you selected should be erased. Proceed with the same process until all the deformations are gone. When finished with all the manual adjustments, the segmentation is ready to be saved. In the upper left corner, click Segmentation, then select Save as Image. Choose the directory and remember to type .jipl.gz at the end so it can be saved as a compressed jipl to save some space. 